thought we were going home yesterday, we thought we were going home today. So it goes. Um, you just take it one day at a time. Okay, everybody's awake now. Um, Peter just looked so peaceful over there, and I was so thankful that he was sleeping. Um, I hope he slept. I haven't asked him yet if he slept through the night, but hopefully he slept pretty well because he really didn't get sleep the night before. So um, this morning has been odd. <clears throat> I'm wondering if my... My NJ tube is like wiggling in my throat. It's causing me to gag a lot. I think it's kind of under control right now, but my PT therapist was like really gracious and patient because when I first woke up, I was just like gagging. And she just like put her hand on my back and Peter kind of stood in front of me. And the, I'm so thankful that we're doing the NJ tube because here's the benefit. The NG tube would have dumped into my stomach and it would be full of this fuel formula. And when I gag, I would have vomited whatever the contents of my stomach. But thankfully this is going down past my stomach into my jejunum, which I don't even know what that is. but. So when I was gagging, it was just gagging. It wasn't, I wasn't throwing anything up. And I'm really grateful for that because it's a lot less messy and a lot less sticky. And so today I am in a lot less pain. I had to take meds at like, I don't even know what time that was. Three in the morning or something. <laughs> oh wait, I think I vlogged it whatever that actually helped a lot I was able to sleep you know for an hour and a half in between um enzymes but um it hurts a lot less it still hurts but it's a lot less today and I'm wondering it's kind of getting worse as I've been awake for a little while now but I'm just gonna take it one hour at a time um, utilize the tools or medications that I need to. I have tried this stuff. This stuff works. The chloroseptic spray, it works very, very short term. And unfortunately, the spot that hurts isn't like in the back of my throat, it's down my throat. So, um, the other thing we tried last night was called Magic Mouthwash and that really was not a good solution. 
it was worth a try. I'm glad we tried it, but it kind of um, <clears throat> made my throat feel almost like paralyzed. So like when I had to swallow, which as a CF patient, I have to swallow a lot just from like the mucus and all that. It just, it kind of scared me. I knew I was able to swallow, but it was just so, um, it just did not work. And plus it didn't numb the spot that was um, in pain. So it was worth a try, but that was not a good solution. <clears throat> so Peter and Oliver are out on a walk. We are waiting to talk with the nutritionist about possible solutions. Um, I'm wondering if I can only do feeds while I'm awake so I can treat with enzymes, but we'll see. We'll see what the solution is, and we're hopefully going to go home today. Um, I, I do hope so, but I'm kind of keeping my mind open to the fact that it's important that we get the details figured out because it's important that I'm digesting and absorbing the nutrients that we're putting in my body. So. I am just trying to be open to the fact that it may or may not be today, but for now, it's morning, it's a little bit dreary out, but it kind of feels like morning, so that's good. Good morning, world. Alright guys, the team came in and... Unfortunately... Unfortunately, we've got to switch Mary's feeding formula. I'm super bummed, but I'm also really glad we gave it a try. Um, we don't know if the next formula is going to work or not, but it's we got to try something. Your body's just not able to digest it. Nope. Sorry, someone came in. Just got my blood drawn again. Um, Basically, the formula food that we chose, her body isn't digesting well, even with the taking enzymes pretty frequently. So, we're gonna try something else today. That means we're gonna be here another day getting this figured out. And as much as I was hoping to go home like yesterday, the way that my body is feeling, like, I'm like, I think it's just my body is... Freaking out a little bit? A little bit. I mean, it turns out I'm not digesting the nutrition, so. That's unfortunate, and therefore my body's trying. And so I'm like, I'm just, I'm not feeling great. So I'm like, I know I'm in the right place. Yeah. So we'll get it figured out. Yep. And in the meantime, we took blood work this morning from my port, and like all my blood counts <laughs> were not where they should be. And so we were like, that's weird. So we just drew it from my hand to see if it was my port giving us weird numbers again. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what those results come back with. Guys, I feel like whenever I remember something, I forget something else. Yesterday, I was like, okay, I need to get the memory card out of the camera from recording my sermon at church yesterday, which the camera recording worked, but I was recording the audio through my computer. and. So I remembered the memory card, but I left the charger for my computer at the church. So I, uh, I can't post that. And so I think I'm going to go home later today, get my charger, get some orders done on the store. And I don't know how long I'm going to be there, but it'd be nice to do some laundry too, but we'll see. So that's what is going on. I'm in my, uh, my Voricon is all... Voritex. My Voritex. It just... Her, her fungal medication, Voricon is all, it like messes with her vision, like, and how she feels, so we call it the Voritex. So I'm in that right now. Give me about an hour. Should be out of it. Oh, it's slowed down. Guys, it was just like snowing like a crazy winter wonderland out there. Well, I guess you can kind of see it. Not really, but look at these guys. Wonder what they're doing. Hey guys, I just got back. Ollie and I went back to the house and she is in a lot of pain. And 
so sorry, sweetie. It's weird. Yeah, I it's. Don't the pain in her throat has gotten. It is like my blood counts dropped today, and I can only imagine that this is related to that. I don't know how. So they gave her some pain meds, and she is still in pain. It's but the pain meds are like starting to kick in, so like my body is more relaxed because my so tense. Yeah. I tried so many things today. I just. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. It's so weird. Yeah. It's to the point where, like, I was like holding my breath. So. Mm. Well, rest your rest, rest your throat. I just can't. I can't take this out because I do not want to get it put back in. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna see what happens. Meanwhile, the, today, we had to switch her to um, kind of just like a more basic formula um, that she's on now. And this formula goes through a new product called Relabsorb. And what it is is, um, yesterday we talked about how she needs enzymes. This has lipase in it, which is an enzyme that breaks down fat. And so the formula runs through that, and so she's able to get that. She still has to take enzymes to help break down the rest of the food. But theoretically, this helps. Now, her stomach has been a little on edge today, even with this, so. It kind of like, this evening it got better from yesterday's issues. So I was like, oh good, maybe like, on the but then at like 8 o'clock I started feeling my stomach started bubbling and not feeling right and uh, it's probably this new formula kicking in. It might just be my body getting used to it or maybe I'm not absorbing it. Only time will tell. So a couple things tomorrow we'll have to recheck my blood counts. Yeah, so let me just explain that. We took blood from her port this morning kind of took a risk. We know her port sometimes shows weird numbers. We wanted to see. So her blood counts were all just like dropped, like pre pretty, like in half, like, which was pretty dramatic for her blood counts. And we've seen that happen before, but that's when she's on IV antibiotics. I feel like I can't say antibiotics, right? <laughs> um, IV antibiotics. People say antibiotics. Antibiotics? So, antibiotics. I I can say it like that. I anti say anti antibiotics. Antibiotics. So I don't say it how it's spelled. Antibiotics. Antibiotics. We say it so much. I don't know why I have trouble with it. <laughs> Anyways, it's really weird that her blood count. So we tested it again by drawing blood from her hand to compare it to the and it, it was the same. So the good news in this whole situation is that her port gave accurate numbers. The bad news is that we don't know why her blood counts dropped like they did. So, so that's something we're checking tomorrow. The other thing is just see after basically like 24 hours how Mary's body's doing with this new formula. Um, we gotta figure out something that works for her body that can get her the nutrients she needs. Uh, so. That's the game plan. We thought we were going home yesterday. We thought we were going home today. So it goes. Um, you just take it one day at a time. One moment at a time. So Mary was just in a lot of pain and kind of her body was freaking out. And and Oliver just knew and he came and laid on top of her. Very good boy. Sweetie. Alright guys, um, the pain meds took off a little bit of the edge. 
shit in. But Mary's gonna try to get get to sleep, and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. So thank you guys. A lot of you think you can't walk. All right, guys. Thanks for being part of our journey, and from the dark in our hospital room to wherever you are in the world. As always, we will see you tomorrow. Good night.